Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. My goal has always been to make your language studies enjoyable and productive. But what are your goals? I'm sure you want to speak English confidently, effectively, and let me add to that list, appropriately. What does that mean? Someone can have decent grammar and clear pronunciation, but maybe what they're saying isn't appropriate or right for the situation or for the relationship they have with the listener. Sometimes even native speakers may say things that are not appropriate. Well, some may want to cause offense intentionally, but it could also happen unintentionally. As language learners, you might make a mistake and not realize that your words made someone feel uncomfortable, confused, or possibly hurt. To avoid all this, you must pay attention to register, how language varies depending on the situation. How easily can you switch from formal to informal English, and vice versa? Being too formal can put unnecessary distance in a relationship and being too informal can sound like you're assuming more intimacy than you should, so you have to be careful. You can watch my other lesson on this topic where I go into more detail about word choice, grammar, intonation, and diction. In this lesson, we'll move at a steady pace through 10 statements. I'll give you a statement to rephrase. You need to reword it, adjusting the register. I'll suggest one or two possible variations, but of course there could be others. This first set will challenge you to move from informal to more formal spoken English. One. Okay guys, quiet down, let's get started. All right, everyone, I'd like to have your attention, please. We're going to get started. At this time, I kindly ask for your attention. Our meeting is about to begin. Two, good question. I'll get back to you on that, okay? That's a good question. Let me look into that and I promise to follow up. That is a good question. I do not have an answer for you at this time, but I will find out and let you know. Three. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Sorry, I think you misunderstood me. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I think you misunderstood what I was trying to say. Four. We're wasting time. Let's stop dancing around the issue and cut to the chase. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the crux of the matter. Let's use our time wisely. I believe we need to speak directly and address the issue head on. Five. Alrighty then, that about does it for today. Any questions? No? Okay. Thanks a lot, everybody. All right, I think we've covered everything. Are there any questions? If not, then I thank you very much.
All right, I believe we covered everything on our agenda. Please feel free to ask any questions at this time. If there are no questions, then I would like to thank everyone for being here today. How did you feel about that task? Were you able to increase the level of formality easily? Let's go in the opposite direction now. I'll give you five formal statements to restate in more relaxed English. What would you say to your peers, people that you work closely with? Six, would anyone care to join me for lunch? I'm headed to lunch now. Does anyone want to come along? Lunch, anyone? I'm headed out now. Seven, would it be possible to reschedule the meeting for a later date? Could we move the meeting to a later date? Any chance we can meet a bit later in the month? Eight, may I ask how firm that deadline is? Is there any flexibility with the deadline? Just how firm is that deadline? Any flexibility? Nine, I have yet to hear from the client. The client hasn't responded yet. No word from the client yet. 10. I would like to commend you on a job well done. You did an excellent job. Way to go. Job well done. Was that second task easier or more challenging? The more you practice changing register, the easier it will be. We'll end here. Please like and share this video if you found it interesting and useful. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. Thank you to all the members of my channel and you super and truly marvelous members, look out for the next bonus video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and try something new. Download the app Holo and join me for a live stream. Students can hop on camera and get speaking practice in real time.